Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today we're checking out a new ROM for the AT&T Galaxy Note 2. So hang out, we'll be right back. So this ROM is called Dirty Unicorns, which is a pretty funny name. And it's a 4.4.2 KitKat ROM. First things first, give big thanks to the developer of this ROM over on XDA, a recognized developer. His name is JMZ. So maybe Jims, maybe. Either way, uh, big thanks to him for hooking us up with this. And in the thread, he talks about how this was originally based on AOKP, but now it's currently based on OmniROM. And he claims that it's a great blend of stability and customization. I think it's got the potential to be really cool. I was unable to keep this on my uh, device for very long because it just had a couple issues that prevented me from being able to use it as a daily driver. And I'll talk about those. But I did like uh, pretty much everything else about it. I really like the font, choice of font on this ROM. You customize the, the quick settings, the power menu, the lock screen. It's got some things that we've seen on other ROMs, like customizing the status bar, the pull-down notification shade, the app drawer. You can enable the navigation buttons at the bottom, uh, kind of like on the Nexus devices. Although for our phone, the Note 2, I don't really see the purpose. So you see we have two launchers right out of the gate. Google Now Launcher and the Launcher 3. We'll take a look at both of those. I've been using the Google Now Launcher as my primary launcher. Uh, you guys probably know I love Nova Launcher. That's my main launcher that I use most of the time, but I'm really getting to like this Google Now Launcher where you can swipe over and have the Google Now pop up. I think it's great, although I am missing the ability to jump right into the system settings through the menu button. So you see the dialer has a white theme, which is nice. Could make it a little difficult to see in bright light outdoors. Contacts application, which we're all pretty familiar with. Here's the messaging. Take a look at the keyboard as well. Now I've already gone ahead and started throwing on my apps at this point. So most of the ones you see here don't come on the ROM. We'll run a quick quadrant standard test here. Let's go ahead and clear all our apps. Okay, we'll run this test and then we'll be right back. All right, I'll zoom in here so we can see what the score is. All right, there you go, 5,505. We'll go check out the About UI section here. And you see 4.4.2. And this is the February 17th version of Dirty Unicorn. Now it also has the dark UI theme. And then we'll go into the Dirty Tweaks. So in here you can customize a lot of different things. You can customize the notification drawer, lock screen, power menu, app bar, then it's got miscellaneous tweaks. You can customize a ton of things on the status bar, including the battery, the clock. As I said before, you can enable the navigation buttons. This ROM does feature the Omni switch, which you can use to quickly switch to previous running apps. You can also customize animations. Uh, it's got the active display as well as the Halo mod. Now in other KitKat ROMs I've noticed there's this bug running around where 
when you're typing out something in an email or text or online and you have the option correct a word when you click on that word you get the little drop down window of other suggested words that you might have intended to put well if you click on one of those suggestions the application force closes it's got to be something to do with the keyboard but it causes the whole application to crash whether it's the text messaging or if you're online uh, if you're writing an email the whole thing will crash uh, it's prevalent in other ROMs that I've tried but they seem to have fixed it in this one or it's not an issue because I had no problems whenever you click on the suggested word it does what it's supposed to do and here you can see that the Play Store is the blacked out version as well as YouTube and some other apps now the other main issue I had with this ROM is listening to music um, in particular I listen to a lot of audiobooks on my phone and this one the audio was skipping a lot and here I recorded an example of that issue I tried two different media players and it was occurring in each one. After I switched to another ROM, I checked the same exact audiobook and didn't have the problem at all. So it's definitely something going on with that ROM and it wasn't the media player. But that's it guys, real quick overview of the Dirty Unicorns ROM for the AT&T Galaxy Note 2. As always, I'll put a link to where you can find this down below. When you do go to the thread, be sure to hit that thanks button. And don't forget to check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. This is Sam, and I'll see you next time.